and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and gigs or gigs so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is count sub arrays with given xor which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so basically we will be given two parameters first one is an array arr of integer type and second one is this k with integer type as well okay all right let's first of all see the constraints as well so array dot size can be as long as 10 raised to the power 5 array elements can also be as long as 10 raised to the power 5 and k can also be 10 raised to the power 5 okay all right now let's see what we have to do so basically we have to tell the count of sub arrays whose XOR is equal to K. Okay, all right, come on one more time. We have to tell the count of sub arrays such that those sub arrays have XOR of their elements is equal to K. Okay, we have to return their count. All right, so now uh, many questions will be arising in your mind. Let's uh, first of all answer them one by one. So, first of all, what is sub array? Let's see that. So, basically, look, as I take in pencil, yeah, something like this. Okay, so. Um, sub array basically means continuous array parts continuous array parts it means suppose if i want to take this 2 and this 6 and miss this 2 so this is not a sub array this is not a sub array sub array will be if i include if i want to include this 2 this 6 so i have to include this 2 then only it will be a sub array sub array basically means continuous part of an array okay continuous part of an array all right so in the same way uh, if i want to take 4 2 Two, let's say I want to take three elements these and this four so I have to include this six as well then only it will become a sub array all right I hope what sub array is will be clear to you now what is XOR what is XOR I think many of you will be knowing but let me give you a quick uh, explanation of what is XOR so basically XOR means key XOR of let's say zero XOR zero is equal to zero okay and XOR of 1 is wish to 1 is equal to 1 and XOR of 0 is to 1 is equal to uh, sorry this will be 0 this will be 0 and this will be 1 so basically XOR of same elements XOR of same elements is 0 and XOR of different elements is can be anything can be anything okay all right so this is basically what is XOR and if I talk about let's say XOR of 2 XOR Five. So what will be the answer of this? What will be the answer of this? So look, two. If I want to write two in binary form, it will be something like one zero. I think. Okay. All right. And uh, XOR of uh, five. If I want to write in binary, it will be something like this one zero one. Okay. All right. And now if I want, I will be you finding the XOR of these binary uh, elements. So zero one XOR is what one. One zero XOR is what one. And this will be 0 so this 0 1 XOR is also 1 okay so 1 1 1 if I want to convert this into a binary it will be 1 2 4 7 it will be 7 okay so this will be the XOR of 2 is to 5 in this way we find the XOR so basically we have to tell the count of sub arrays such that their XOR is equal to 6 all right so I think the problem statement will be very very clear to you now let's move on to the approach which we are going to take so first approach which comes in my mind which is also the brute force approach is very very simple what i will do i will simply use a for loop we will use two for loops nested inside one another and let's say first of all i will start my i will start will be pointing to zero so i will uh, start my uh, let's say nested loop from zero only and then we will keep on taking the XOR of these all elements and whenever i find that my XOR is equal to six i will increase my count by plus one okay in this way i will first of all take all the elements from four to four to two four to two six four to two six four okay after that i will move my i to this two and then i will again start from uh, taking xor from this two to two two to two, six two to six four in this way we will keep on going and we will can get our answer but the time complexity for this will be n square and it is not a good time complexity because we have seen the constraints and constraints are basically 10 raised to the power 5 and n square will be 10 raised to the power 10 which will give us time limit exceed so what we have to do we have to optimize our approach so now what approach we should take look i will tell you few properties of xor first of all then 
I will move on to the approach. So one property of XOR is if A XOR B is equal to C. Okay, if A XOR B is equal to C, then A XOR of C is equal to B. So this is a property of XOR. Similarly, B XOR C is equal to A. Okay, so we have to. Uh, these are the properties and they like basically work. Okay, so this is one property and another property. I let me tell you, ki yeah, look, if A XOR B cancellation property of XOR. I'm teaching you the cancellation property of XOR. So if A XOR B and then A XOR B XOR C. So what will be the XOR of this? The XOR of this will be C. Because A XOR A will be cutting, A, A XOR A will be cutting, uh, B XOR B will be cutting, and then only C will remain. How it will be cutting? Because I in the very starting I tell you told you that zero XOR zero is equal to zero, and one XOR one is equal to one. Which means he if there are if we are doing XOR of same element, it will be zero. Okay, all right. So in this way, this is another property. And now I will tell you how we are going to use it. Okay. So what we have to do is uh, just give me a minute. Yeah. So what we have to do is look. Suppose if I want to find the XOR of two six, this array. Let's suppose I want to find the XOR of two six. Okay. So can I write uh, the XOR of two six will be the XOR of four XOR two and the XOR of four XOR two XOR two. XOR 6. What does I have written? Let me tell you that as well. So this 4 XOR 2 is basically the prefix, the prefix this 4 2. Okay. And this 4 2 to 6 is basically the whole uh, XOR till the last element, till this 6, because I want to find the XOR of this 2 6. Okay. So 4 2 and 4 2 to 6. So basically 4, this 4 will be cutting, this 2 will be cutting to this, and I will get the XOR of 2. XOR 6 which I want to find as well which I want to find okay all right so now uh, we what we have to do is basically we have to find let's say if I want to find the XOR of I till J I want to find the XOR of sub array from I to J so what it will be it will be basically XOR of 0 to I minus 1 0 to i minus 1 elements and uh, after that we will do the XOR with 0 to j and it will be equal to it should be if it is equal to k if it is equal to k I have got, got my one count I have got my one count okay so I will increase the count by plus one but how will I know keep this i how this i should be what this i should be we have to find out that but look like if I want to find this I we have to use a nested loop I think you guys are getting this but if you remember I told you a very good property that is a XOR B is equal to C then a XOR C is equal to B a XOR C is equal to B so we have to find this but look 0 XOR Till J, I always know because uh, if my I is at if I am at this point, so it will be I will be knowing the XOR from 0 to J. Okay, K I already know. So I will check if this XOR is present. If we have got this XOR in the starting at any point, I will increase my count. If I have got this XOR at any point, I will increase my count. Now, how will I know if this 0 to I minus 1 XOR, whatever it will be, uh, is present or not? Look, we can use a hash map. We can use a hash map for it okay all right so i think i think you guys are developing an approach and uh, i have uh, like uh, tried my best to explain this as well so please subscribe the channel and comment down uh, whether you liked it or not till this point okay all right now moving on so uh, let me tell you with an approach as well so basically look this 2 to 6 let's suppose i'm currently at this 6 i'm currently at this 6 and i'm taking the xor of let's say cumulative xor till this 6 okay so i will have the xor of this 4 2 to 6 okay all right and i have this k okay so what i have to do i have to find out k are this cumulative xor and this k xor let's say cumulative xor is i have and k xor like let's say xor with k and i will check if this is present in my map if this is present in my map and how many time it is present that many sub arrays i have got and i will simply increase my count by that 
okay all right i hope it will be very very clear to you so actually finding xor is a bit typical so i not want to make a dry run of it otherwise it will become very very tough but let's do that let's do that so okay i have taken the xor till this point till this six so first of all this four uh, will be xor four only then xor of four two will be six okay xor of four two two will be four and xor of four two two six will be two okay all right so i will put these into map let's uh cumulative xor at each point i will be putting into map so my my map will look something like this two is present once four is present twice and six is present once six is present once okay all right now at this point four two to six i have my cumulative xor as two so if you remember what i told i will check in map cumulative xor two xor k if this is present in my map or not so let's see so 2 xor 6 2 xor 6 if you will check you will find out it is equal to 4 it is equal to 4 so i will check if map 4 is present yes 4 is present two times so it means this 6 till this point 6 i have two sub arrays whose xor is equal to uh, like two sub arrays whose xor is equal to 6 what first one is this only and second one is this only so in this way we can find out how many xors are there and keep on increasing i think i have uh, given a enough explanation of this and now we should move on to the code section and uh, uh, before moving to code section if you have loved, loved my explanation please subscribe the channel and hit the like button comment down and i have made one linkedin post as well so please share your views on that the uh, link will be in the pinned comment now moving to the code so first of all i have to return the answer in long so i will take one long answer is equal to zero okay and after that i will use a map of uh, integer type mp is equal to new hash map something like this and after that what i will do i have take i have to take one more variable let's say cumulative xor or current xor whatever you want i can take current xor as well it will be equal to zero okay all right and i will be putting one zero into my xor let's say zero xor is present once when i'm starting okay when i'm starting there is one zero xor with one frequency this current xor okay all right and after that we don't have to do much i will simply use a for each loop for int i of arr this for each loop i will be getting one by one elements in this i and what i will do first i will simply do current uh, let me copy this so that I don't write again and again. Current XOR is equal to current XOR and I XOR. So basically updated my current XOR. Okay. All right. Now what I have to do, I have to check key in map if MP dot contains key. MP dot contains key what? Current XOR and current XOR. If you remember current XOR and what I will do, I will XOR this with K. Okay. If this is present in map, what I will do, I will simply add my answer to what i will add my answer to mp dot get current xor xor okay okay something like this and after that what i have to do i don't have to do much now i just have to put my current xor to the map update so basically like current xor and mp dot get or default to write this something like this and uh, current xor comma zero plus one what i'm doing here is basically look this mp dot get or default will basically check in map if this current xor is present if it is present already so increase its frequency by one okay and if this current xor is not present so its current frequency will be zero and then it will be updated by one okay all right and uh, after coming here i will simply return my answer let's try to compile this and you won't believe i'm actually solving it for the first time i just saw the uh, problem and i made start in making the video for it so let's see if it is getting accepted or not yes it is getting accepted and i hope you have loved the explanation as well i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding please subscribe the channel and uh, there is a pinned comment uh, pinned uh, comment link of my linkedin post make sure to show some love on that i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding